I've been in that position so many times earlier last year, there was one specific Netflix project that I was like so close in, but it just didn't work out, which is very unfortunate. And I'll be honest, it's sad. It's demotivating sometimes. Um, but it happens so often in the industry. I don't just act, I write, direct and do other stuff. In each of those different buckets, they all have tons of rejection. I live with rejection all around me to the point where I have started to sort of normalize it. How I process it at least is, and this is something I developed with my therapist. I'm very pro therapy. I think everyone needs to go, <laughs> not everyone needs to go to therapy, but I think it's helpful. I like to process my thoughts a lot. How I figured this out is, you know, when you win something, when you are successful in something, you celebrate, you go out and have uh, a drink, you go get a meal, you do something with your friends, you celebrate, you give it that ritual to process that moment and you move on. Similarly, what I've started doing is I've started to have rituals for rejections. If I get rejected in something, I have a ritual where I go for a walk. I don't listen to any music and I talk to myself. I talk through all the negative and positive thoughts that come through my mind. This is why you didn't get it. This is why you, you could have done better here, blah, 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 blah. I go through every single thought, give it the attention it deserves for a, a second. And then I let it go. I come home and I eat something I like. That's how I process rejection. It's been working well for me these days. The other thing I would say to anyone listening is it's a matter of where you put the self-value. A lot of actors that I know and artists in general put the value or the thing where they put their self-value is on the end result. They would say, I'm a good actor. I did a good job because I booked the role. Whereas I started to reframe it as I did a good job or I'm a good actor by doing the audition. Because that's the thing under your control. That's the thing you can kill. You know, you've done everything you can. You've rehearsed, you practiced to kill the audition. And then everything that happens afterward is truthfully out of your control. There's so many factors that go into casting that you can't put that on yourself and say, oh, I am not a great actor and that's why I didn't book that. So having that clarity of how that part of the industry works really helped me define how I go through these moments of rejection uh, in a